Hey guys, if you've got a loose Calibon fence, or any fence, and it's due to a shallow footing that was put in, I'll show you a quick and easy way to replace the footing, sturdy it up, uh, without actually removing any of the panels, uh, or as little as panels as possible, uh, to do that. First you'll want to take a few pieces of uh, timber and jam them under, under the fence. And what this will do is it'll give your fence something to sit on so this won't drop when you jackhammer out the concrete. So we'll do this to both sides. Next up, you want to use a small narrow digging tool and just carve out a channel on the side of the footing and this will give you some space to jackhammer the concrete into. Now you've got a bit of room, you can go ahead and jackhammer. Like so. And hopefully you'll get nice big pieces like that. As you can see, not a lot of concrete was used in this hole, only about 300 mil deep and not wide enough. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the hole bigger using a 450 wide and 100 auger. And I've just used a jackhammer that I had. Doesn't have variable speed, but it does have a clutch. So what we'll do now is we'll dig a couple of holes on this side of the fence and jackhammer the rest of the footing into it. Again, being careful. And then use whatever method you want. You can use a little hand tool like that, but I'm gonna use a post hole digger. And these things are a lifesaver. Well, time saver. Now we've gotten rid of the excess soil. We've got plenty of room to jackhammer the rest of the concrete from the foundations into the hole we've made. Well, I've jackhammered the rest of that concrete out. <laughs> Now you can either dig it from the other side just to make the hole a bit bigger because um, I'll be going to probably just a smidge deeper than that and that's about 450 which should be fine for a fence like this if you're not in a high wind area. But you can either dig it from this side with a crowbar or something or go on the other side which I'll do because I've got access right there um, and just drill straight down with this guy and that way it'll just be the right depth all the way around and super easy. I've gone ahead and dug the rest of the foundation out. Just make sure you got the right depth and width that you want and that you do square the bottom of the hole so you don't have a U shape. This is just a quick time lapse to show the process that we've done so far. It ended up only taking about 25 minutes after we got the hang of it per post. And I just thought it was an easier way to do it than taking the whole fence apart and having to realign it again once you put it back together. And that's the holes dug. So what we'll do now is we'll throw a string line from the first post because it's staying to the post we did yesterday and then that'll let us know where to line up the bottom and the top so we'll just support with two bits of timber just leaning like an a-frame and then we'll get to concreting but i'll show you how to do the uh the a-frame if you don't really know what to do as you can see that will give us the line to follow to do the bottom. Now we'll support the braces. Braces supports. Make sure to line the bottom of the post up first before you brace yep. the top. Right. Now what I'll do is I'll be using this length of timber and we'll be propping it up like so. So you can see, like so. We're gonna start pick at the bottom, but so it doesn't slide up, we could either clamp it here uh, using just a, a G clamp or something, but because this is the back side and I'm not actually going to see it very often, I'm just going to put a screw in it. Just like that. And then this will sit just under there. Again, it's not designed to take a huge amount of weight, it's just to stop the top from tipping over. All right, now I've sort of I've brought that back and that's level. Then grab your star picket and your hammer. Doesn't have to go far in, it's just holding it there. Make sure that's level with it. Put the level back on, and that's once it pushes back from the other side, that's good. Right, we'll go and uh, we'll do the other side. Now, this side, normally, if you just had the ground here, you put another one like that, and instead of screwing it, if you're going to see it, just pop a clamp, and I'll show you that soon. 
and then we can throw a clamp on here yeah, and this is what you'd do to the other side if you to both sides if you don't want to see the screw hole and that is going to be well and truly stable enough on a non-windy day like this top could go just in a tad that's pretty good now we'll do the same for the rest of them and that's it all set up much much better so now we'll just do the concreting start mixing For the concrete I used a ratio of one part cement to seven parts concrete mix which already had the sand and aggregate mixed together. <laughs> and now you're just going to fill them full of concrete. Give them a good jiggle. So it gets the concrete all in around. Alright, on to the next one. Concrete's done. Now, come have a, have a look at this. The base might have kicked out a little bit when you put the concrete in. That's alright. What you do is you just manhandle it back into place and give it a good old tap because you want the concrete to settle around where you've, uh, where you've put that. And then to finish off, you can give it a bit of a smooth if you're going to see it like this one. That way, uh, this looks that little bit neater. And that's uh, that's it. Next day, and the concrete has dried enough, so we will take everything off and do the next few. Grab the little ones out the bottom. There you have it. So I hope you like the video. Just a different way to do fence posts, uh, foundations, change them over than is what is out on uh, on the internet at the moment that I could see. So hope you learned a bit. Hope it's useful. And if you do like it, leave a comment and uh, encourage me to do stuff like this. But otherwise, see you later.